Innovation is a really fascinating area to work in because new opportunities come along every day, technologies change, people's wants, needs, desires change. We don't really know the scale of the problem of online child sexual abuse. What we're aware of is just a small tip of the iceberg. Microbes is everywhere in, in different form. They exist in the air, every breath you draw, the water you drink, the soil you walk on, they're everywhere. So I want to harness their ability to clean up the environment. We can actually learn a lot about the functionality of the brain in terms of its neural pathways and connectivity. We've extended that into a technique known as deep brain stimulation, which is a pacemaker for the brain. Art Cross is an intercultural research project that involves partners in Beijing, in Taipei and in London. Research started with a call from Metal Europe and they had some special metals that they wanted to find a new use for. Crisis is an EU-funded project for training critical incident managers in dealing with major incidents such as a terrorist attack, for example, on an airport terminal. So like our partners in the Lisbon airport, they're using it to train their personnel now. So with everybody carrying smartphones, it brings about new opportunity. People are expecting new ways of interacting with museums. So what we've done is to recreate the aircraft itself so that people can engage with it, see it, look at it, and find new stories from it. My main area of research is the representation of the body in virtual physical environments. The impact of me and my shadow is quite a revelation, not just to the audience actually, to all of us within the team and other artists around us. The findings of my research had a massive impact in the sense that it really helped police officers to understand more closely and more in depth the way in which sex offenders behave online. I've got this email from Procter and Gamble. We read your paper. We think there are other applications. Can we discuss? Like, Gosh, we really can bring it out to the community, not just in the university and the scientific community. Middlesex has always had this ethos of applied research, but it's applying to solve problems and real problems, and this is where our impact comes. Middlesex University has really been at the forefront of this whole sustainable drainage development. The changing world affects performance. But some performances actually can shape the changing world. They're new, they're innovative, people see them and they say, now I understand. Somehow, innately, intuitively, they understand the world in a different way. So that's been fascinating for me.